I'm going to show you how to set up email forwarding with SiteGround. But first, just a quick recap on what this is and why you would use it. An email forwarder is like a bouncer standing at the entry to your email inbox. The email intended to go into that specific box, but the bouncer stops the email and says, nope, not here, you go over there, pointing to another inbox owned by a different email address. So if you set up a forwarder for all emails going to sales at mysite.com to be forwarded to scott at mysite.com, then scott at mysite.com would receive all emails that were sent to either of those addresses. This way you can have multiple email addresses like support, sales, admin, all redirect to your personal email address. It's much easier to only have one email that you have to check each day rather than logging into each of those individually. There are quite a few more reasons why and how you could use email forwarding, but since you're watching this video, I'm going to assume that you likely already know why you want to set one up. So I'll just show you how to do that now with SiteGround. Log into your SiteGround account. Select the Websites tab from the top. And then select Site Tools for the domain that we will be editing. And now from the Site Tools dashboard, on the menu to the left, we can expand the email option and then select Forwarders. By default, SiteGround has already set up one rule here. This rule basically discards all emails that are sent to an email address that you don't currently have an account for. So if I check my email accounts here, I can see that I have one email account created for admin at twtwp.com. So any emails that are sent to an address that doesn't exist here will be discarded by default. So I have this admin email address. Let's say I wanted to also receive emails that are sent to support and sales but I don't want those to be their own account here. I want those to redirect to this admin account. So I'll set those up as forwarders. Let's set those two up now. I'll create a new rule. If you have multiple domains on this account, then confirm that the correct one is set here. We can also create discard rules. So if you wanted to shut down an email account that was active, you could do that with a discard rule. And we can set this so that if this account is emailed, the emails will be automatically discarded and the sender will be sent a reply saying that this email account is no longer used. But I want to set up a forward rule. I want all emails sent to sales to be forwarded to admin. Now you can actually enter an email address here other than your domain emails, like a Gmail account or something. However, I don't recommend doing this. If you forward directly to Gmail, those emails may come marked as sent from your email account or your domain, which is fine unless you get a lot of spam emails that are being redirected to your Gmail account. Google might detect your domain emails as spam, which you don't want that. You would be best off having all emails redirect into one account on your domain. Then you can set up Gmail to log into your email account on this domain and receive all emails in that inbox. So here I'll enter in my admin at twt-wp.com email address and create. Okay, so that's done. I also wanted to add support, so I'll set that one up now. With that done, let's send an email to one of those and see if it worked. And it does. Great. So that's all there is to setting up email forwarding. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful. To keep me motivated to make more free tutorials, please subscribe, like the video, and leave a friendly comment. And if you didn't like this video, no problem. Smash that dislike button, twice even, and let me know everything I did wrong in the comments. For more tutorials with WordPress and other website tutorials, check out thewebsiteteacher.com. I'll leave a link in the description below.